pandemic is the outbreak of a disease on a global scale. A uh, pandemic usually starts as an epidemic, an outbreak over a region of the world. Uh, when that spreads globally, then we have a pandemic. Pandemics are not new to U.S. history. Uh, the first European settlers brought with them smallpox, which of course contributed to the decimation of indigenous populations. Uh, and then there are other examples. Uh, we have yellow fever in the 18th century, cholera and uh, scarlet fever in the 19th century, and typhoid in the early 20th century. But the most devastating was probably the 1918 Spanish flu. It is certainly difficult to know what we're facing at this moment, but we know what the country and the world faced in 1918. The Spanish flu infected 500 million people across the globe and killed 20 to 50 million, which is more than the number of people killed, both military and civilian, during the World War. Camp Zachary Taylor, which was in Louisville, uh, housed over 45,000 officers and enlisted men. And that created the perfect conditions for the spread of this global disease, with so many troops uh, so close together. And then, of course, the movement of those troops uh, to the theater, to the European theater, and all over the globe from there, that created the perfect conditions for, for a massive spread of this disease. Thousands of people were infected here in Kentucky with the Spanish flu, and hundreds of them died. We had travel by train, we had travel by water, uh, of course, troop movements all over the place. All of this made people very susceptible to the disease. One of the most troubling developments um, for me has been the, the kind of xenophobic and racist language that we've seen from some circles uh, around this development. And it seems to me that historically, when we live through these moments, when we have these crises, there's a an, sort of an inherent need for people to find scapegoats, to, to label the danger and fear that they're, that they're feeling as something foreign. And I think we've seen that historically, and unfortunately we're seeing it again today. It's important to remember that the Spanish flu, as we call it, was not Spanish at all. It was a misnomer. It was called that simply because Spain, being neutral in the war, was not subject to censorship and therefore reported widely on this disease. And the name just sort of stuck. In the intervening century since the 1918 Spanish flu, we've gained a great deal of knowledge, uh, much of it through research in our universities. We have a better sense of how to combat these pandemics. Uh, we know in a, in a public health sense how to attack the problem, and we know how to communicate to people uh, what it is that they need to do to minimize the damage. <laughs>